In a landmark Hong Kong national security case, 45 pro-democracy activists, academics and former politicians have been sentenced to jail for up to 10 years. Dual Australian citizen Gordon Ung is among dozens of the Hong Kong 47 group charged under a new national security law in 2021 for their roles in an unofficial primary election. Let's go to Foreign Affairs reporter Stephen Jedgetts now. So Stephen, how significant is this? Look, this is undoubtedly significant. Essentially, this is Beijing and the authorities in Hong Kong making it very, very clear that anyone who tries to organise politically in ways that aren't approved by the government in either Hong Kong or in Beijing is going to be targeted. And not only that, the sentences that are going to be handed down are going to be serious. Now, it is worth noting there were some expectations that the sentences that were going to come down today could be even heavier than what we've got. What we saw were people essentially sent to jail for between four years in the lowest case and 10 years in the highest case. There was speculation that some people could be jailed for 10 plus years, perhaps even for life under this sweeping national security law. That hasn't happened. Nonetheless, the fact that we're now seeing dozens of people essentially sent to jail for still, for still substantial periods of time simply because they took part in political activity in the territory is a powerful reminder of just how dramatically things have changed in Hong Kong, uh, how forlorn the rule of law is now in many ways in Hong Kong, and just how seriously Beijing and Hong Kong are focused on implementing the national security law to extinguish any political opposition. And that doesn't just include, of course, all of the locals who have been swept up in this, but also Gordon Ng, the Australian man who calls himself a Sydney cider, who, as you mentioned, has also been sentenced to jail for some seven years and three months. Again, not as bad as some people feared, but a hefty and serious sentence nonetheless. So what's been the reaction in Canberra? Unsurprisingly, both sides of politics in, in Canberra have been fiercely critical. The, the Foreign Minister, Penny Wong, has criticised the verdict, saying that it's gravely concerning to Australia. She's also criticised the broader crackdown on freedom of expression and political organisation in Hong Kong, saying Australia's made it very, very clear repeatedly to authorities in Hong Kong just how deeply concerned they are, and also by the way that Australians like Mr Ng have been swept up in this. Because of complications around the recognition of past Sports, Australia hasn't even been able to get consular access to Gordon Ng because he's a dual citizen and he's not recognised as an Australian under the current settings in Hong Kong. And that is something that's caused deep frustration in Canberra. It's not just the government, of course. The opposition has also, also been fiercely critical. Simon Birmingham, the, foro, uh, the, the shadow foreign affairs minister, putting out a statement calling the, uh, the, the sentence unacceptable. This is another amount, a reminder of just how quickly things have changed in Hong Kong and that is a source of deep frustration and regret here in Canberra.